From the yard in historic Annapolis, Maryland, this is the Navy Sports Rundown, presented by Lidos. Navy sneaks closer to Army in the Star Series after both men's and women's swimming and diving beat the Black Knights Thursday at Lejeune Hall. For the women, it's their 35th consecutive win over the Black Knights. The men have taken 32 of the past 33 meets. The two teams combined for six school records and four star meet records. Navy will look to pull ahead in the star series presented by USAA on February 3rd when four star competitions take place. Men's and women's indoor track and field and gymnastics all on the yard and up at West Point, rifle. Wrestling won its final five matches against Ohio to beat the Bobcats 27-12. Sunday's duel took place at Jefferson Morgan High School in Pennsylvania. That's where Navy head coach Kerry Colat went to high school. The Mids won their final three matches by fall or technical fall. They're 5-0 for the first time in six years. Next Thursday, they visit American for their first EIWA duel of the season. Men's basketball hosts Washington College this Sunday. Navy's looking for win number three on the young season, welcoming in the Shoremen of historic Chestertown, Maryland. That is the lone event on the yard this week. It's also the last home game for the Mids before December 30th. For the third time this season, freshman Zanai Barnett Gay is the Patriot League Women's Basketball Rookie of the Week. ZBG scored a team high 19 points against Dartmouth on Friday, tacking on six boards, three steals, and three assists. Her 20 points per game rank number 28 in the entire nation. As a reminder, it's only men's basketball competing on the yard this week. Come out to Alumni Hall on Sunday, and if you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to Navy Athletics on YouTube. That'll do it for this week. Go Navy, beat Army, beat everybody.